Hi everybody, my name is Amber Dean and I play French horn in the Palm Beach Symphony Orchestra. I've put together a video series of topics that can help you stay motivated during the, this quarantine, but these are also good ideas to use in your normal everyday practice. In this first video, we won't even need our horns, so I'm going to go ahead and put mine down. But there's something that we, more important that we must warm up first, and those are our lungs. In order to do this, we need to do some breathing exercises, and you might ask why do breathing exercises? Why not just start warming up? Well, these breathing exercises will help you release any tension that you might have in your body. And also, it's a good idea to get air moving through your lungs before you actually start playing the horn. So now on to the exercises. The first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna breathe in for four counts and breathe out for four counts. Here's some things you should pay attention to. You always want to be sitting straight. And also, you do not want to have your shoulders tense or raised. So make sure you're very relaxed and seated straight up. So like I said, the first exercise, we're going to inhale for four, exhale for four. And I'll count us off. One, two, three, four. Good. So when you're breathing in, when you're inhaling and exhaling, try to make sure that each inhale and exhale is controlled. For example, you don't want to take in most of your air in the first two beats. You want to take in an even amount of air for four beats and you want to exhale an even amount of air for four beats. So let's try one more time. One, two, three, four. Good. So the next exercise we're going to do is similar. We're going to do, we're going to inhale for two beats, or three beats, excuse me, three beats, and exhale for four. One, two, three, four. Good. One more time. One, two, three, four. Good. The next exercise we're going to do is we're going to inhale for two beats, exhale for four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Good. And make sure that each time you're cutting off a beat of your inhale, you're still inhaling the same amount of air as you did in four beats, even though you're doing it in three or two beats. Or like the next exercise, we're gonna take just one beat of air in. So make sure that each time you're still taking in the same amount of air as, as, as if it were four. So the last exercise we're going to do is we're going to breathe in for one and then we'll breathe out for four. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Good. And you continue. You can continue to do exercises like this. You can breathe in for four, out for five. Breathe in for three, out for five. Breathe in for two, out for five. Breathe in for one, out for five. Um, or you can you can keep extending it. You can breathe out for five or six or seven or even eight beats if you want. And I recommend once you feel like you're doing a good job with these to expand. So these exercises can be used in many situations. I like to do these breathing exercises in the morning before I play for the first time. It helps me to feel 
ready to start playing. I feel like my lungs are open, but it also helps me feel very relaxed. And that's important for me before I start because that will help me have a much more stable practice. Also, I think a good, um, another good time to use these exercises is before a performance, especially if you're feeling any performance anxiety. Um, the breathing will help relax you which is good, but it also gives you something else to focus on besides your anxiety because you're focusing in on the inhale and the exhale instead of focusing on your performance anxiety.